here at Georgia Tech, we have a requirement that everybody has to take computer science uh, because we really believe that computing is important across all the disciplines. And for the first four years that we had that requirement, there was only one course that met that requirement for absolutely everybody. And it doesn't really work. Computer science isn't the same for everyone. People need different kinds of motivations. They need different contexts, different kinds of languages and tools. So we developed media computation as a way of teaching computer science to, stu to students for whom computing is more about communication than calculation. So we teach students programming by having them manipulate digital media. They manipulate pictures and sounds and video. Learn how digital video special effects work. Learn how Photoshop works. Um, and in that way, we provide them a context to get started with computing. And when we did that, we found that uh, women and members of underrepresented groups were doing just as well as the white and Asian males. There was no difference in success and failure rates. And that's what led us to start thinking about using that general idea, not just media computation, but the general idea of using a context, uh, an application area for computing, to motivate students to learn about computer science. We use that idea to try to broaden participation across the entire state. And that's what started us with Georgia Computes. The Georgia Computes is an NSF-funded effort um, from the Broadening Participation in Computing program to try to improve uh, the numbers of students and the diversity of students pursuing computing degrees across the entire state of Georgia. We're interested in computer science for everybody. Um, that's our, our, our driving purpose, and so we explore new kinds of pedagogies like media computation. We learn about how to explore new kinds of contexts through Georgia Computes. And now we're thinking about trying to create new kinds of pedagogy and media in order to be able to help high school teachers learn more about computer science so that they can share it with their students.